everyone, it's Kathy with Plan Happy With Me. If this is your first visit here, hello and welcome. I hope you enjoy what we're going to be working on tonight. I'm going to be accepting the challenge from Planable January 2023 called Winter Blues. And this challenge was actually for the week of the 16th, but I'm using it on the 9th. And I'm hoping you'll figure out why here in a minute. Um, in my teacher planner that I use as an all about me planner. So this is kind of a new system for me. So tonight might take a little longer than normal. Um, and what I'm finding is that all of the TPC Nation, which are being sort of discontinued, all of these stickers, the one with the white box in it, are not the same kits if you buy from different shops. So we're gonna play with it and see what we can come up with and see what we can create. Um, the Winter Blues, this collection to me was very blue and I'm actually going to Hawaii for those Winter Blues um, for the week. Now, when you use a teacher planner that are dated, this is all covered, so it doesn't matter what the date over here says. But um, I'm going to Hawaii middle of this week and coming back the beginning of the following week. So this was very tropical, very Hawaii looking, and it was blue, and it's winter time. So that's how I got winter blues. So I think first off we'll start with the date covers because... Um, yeah, that's just a good place to start. Now, I, I will... Oh, it wasn't this kit. Um, so, I'm really looking forward to working with these different kits. Trying to figure out... Um, I'm going to turn this upside down so I can see it. That's a little bit crooked. Let's see how this lifts. These stickers are from the sticker patch. Um, I do think she's on Etsy. And that won't lift. So, yeah, it's going to stay right where it is. Um, some of the stores that I find that carry the TPC format, um, they, I find that all of them, their uh, sticker layouts are all very different. And... Sometimes that works to my benefit, and in this case, it's not. So we're going to have to see what we can create um, to fill in those gaps. I might have to go to a nether sticker or maybe even a happy planner sticker, which would be fine if we can find the right thing. And I won't drag you with me to go do that. I'll just um, put it in off camera and you guys will see it in the after the pen flip through. Um, so yeah, I got some sad, kind of sad news today. I had planned to go and spend New Year's with my cousin and Southwest is having some kind of issue and is canceling flights every day, like 2,500 flights every day, and my flight got canceled, and there's no backup flight for me to take. So I'm not going to be spending New Year's with my cousin. I'm not going to get, and it was going to be a surprise. So I'm kind of having some winter blues. Um, but anyways, uh, I want to pull the numbers here, so I'm going to put you on hold while I find the numbers. Okay, I found some numbers. This is the Live Love Posh um, Functionally Chic book, the black one, which was not part of, well, I don't know. I didn't buy the whole collection. I only bought the colors that I thought were kind of unique. And this one, the black, came out significantly before the um, other box and so I don't know if you got the black in her box or not 
Um, so I'm just going to finish putting these dates on. Okay, that's a little big for that one, but that's still, I like it. I didn't want it to be so little that we wouldn't see it, but these are pretty bold, but that's okay. If it really bugs me, I'll change it out, but right now I'm liking it. I think once we get the sidebar and the words put in over there, it'll be a nice trade-off. Okay, so we can now officially say it's been dated. Yay! Okay, so now we're going to put the categories in. And this is where we cover up the days. So really, the beauty about using a teacher planner for something like this is that it's never out of date. You can always, um, let's see, I'm trying to figure out the order here. I think I'm going to go, I want that one in the middle. So, and I don't want the two trees together. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now I also like a line to line up with so I know that they're relatively square. There is a very faint dotted line right here. Maybe we'll just line up with that this time. Yeah. Yep. Now these, I'm not too confident that these are going to lift really easily. So I want to make sure that we get it right where I want it because, um, like I said, I'm not confident they're going to lift easy. There we go. You know, Black Friday, I took advantage and ordered all my stuff pretty much for the whole year. I either, if I wanted it pre-cut like this kit, I bought for the whole year. And if I wanted um, sorry, I didn't want the two oranges together. Slight little change there. Um, I also bought all my printables and I made a Excel spreadsheet to plan out my entire year so I know what needs to be printed and what doesn't. Now that's not to say I can't follow the challenges. See now, look at that. Look at that. I love it. Okay, so now these stickers, I print myself on clear sticker paper. And that way, I can just put any font I want, and it's always going to say what I want it to say. I don't have to substitute for what I can find and what I've got left and all of that kind of thing. And, um... For my sense of ease of laying it out, I like that my words are all the same. Um, I practiced kind of the last part of 2022 to make this the, make sure this was how I was going to do it in 2023. And it was really quite perfect. But I also used the words that... Uh, I could find in the uh, various sticker books that I had trying to, you know, shop my stash. And I found that when the words were not all the same or when the font was different, not only did that bother me, but I lost track of what I was supposed to be doing in that row. And so this now, I don't have that problem because they say the same thing every week. And I can be a little creative with the font that I use. And um, yeah, it's just a win-win all the way around. And when I need to print clear um, stickers and I, I don't have enough to fill the page, I just print more of these. Because, you know, you got to have 52, right? So I will have quite a few of these printed. And I'll just, I, like I said, I do them in different fonts that I like. And I pick a font 
that kind of moves me for the um, kit that I'm using. And this just seemed like a fun font for a fun time. So I picked, that's why I picked it. And I know this one goes up here. Now this little white box is a little bit smaller from this sticker company than some of the others that I've used, but um, they're all fitting just fine. The self-care one never fits because I had to put it on two lines. I didn't like that the font was so much smaller in order to get it on one line. So I put it on two lines and I know what that means. Look at that, it looks great. I'm excited. Okay, so now, the next thing is the noted section. And I'm not going to keep you, uh, going to show you what I do in the noted section, the goal section and the care section. And this is the area we're gonna have to play with because there's only two full box decos. There's a half box, but we're gonna have to play and see what we can create. So we're gonna start off with um, the noted uh, row. I'm only going to do uh, a couple on camera and then I'll finish it off camera so that you guys don't have to wait. Now this particular kit, she's got these boxes here and these boxes here and I need two for every day and so we're going to just kind of mix them up. This was pink so we don't want pink. We're going to do, um, let's go uh, dark blue and mustard and I feel like I'm playing the good game clue <laughs> okay and these I'm just going to put them in towards the bottom uh, put a little gap in between because I like a gap in between that blue one is crooked and here again I don't think I can lift this I'm hoping I can yeah that was much better because I really don't like Cricut stickers. If you watch any of my earlier videos, yeah, no, that's a big pet peeve with me. So we got the pink, the dark blue, the mustard, and let's go with, um, let's go with a light blue one. I just need a check off box. So we'll put that there. And then, so that's how I'll finish this all the way across. This is just, did I do something? Yes. I post a little note here. These are more notes. And then my steps, I put in the self-care section now. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing that. Meals don't get a box. Now goals, I'm only putting one goal. Um... um every other day because with the goal and the self-care I felt like I was always defeated so I'm not making it so hard on myself and I'm going to make it more comfortable for me so we're going to make um oh I like these little box funny boxes that's kind of a nice one for the goal right so let's use these three for the goal and let's see, this one doesn't have any pink. So we're gonna, oh wait, we're gonna put it in the middle. So that's pink. So it's gonna go with mustard. And I'm gonna, I think I'll just put it right there. And then on the other side, so that's here, we're gonna go with the black one here. I really like these scalloped. Um, stickers but I would never until I figure out how to use my Cricut I would never do these to print because I that cutting that scallop not a good thing okay so those are my three goals for the week and then my self-care then is the other day so I have four self-care goal uh, boxes and I usually use the this size for self-care or even a little bit bigger but since this is what is provided for us this is what we're going to use okay so we could do um i don't want to do mustard um i don't want to do black um 
dark blue maybe not send the light blue definitely not so we're gonna go with the light blue and we're gonna stick it in here and then we're gonna put a dot under it for my step count and I think we'll go with the mustard on the dot just to remind me that I have to put that on there okay and so we're going to do another one here now we have the light blue and the black a lot of mustard right there so we could do pink we could do pink and let's see we went pretty high up so let's do um, a dark blue dot I'm calling it a dot but it's really a square and we'll put that on okay so you can kind of see where I'm going now my sleep I actually have a sticker I make myself for that so I'm gonna pull those so you can see what um, it kind of looks like okay these are my sleep trackers and I literally just cut them apart and put them right on my page now the one thing going from a a big to a classic you have very little room for decor but with these um sticker kits they don't really give you a lot of decor anyways so I'm gonna learn to accept it for this year and if it really bugs me I'm gonna make it change it in 2024 but for 2023 this is what I've committed to and I think like I said with the stuff that I have um oops now that bed is really doesn't fit on the line sleep and up fit really nice but bed doesn't fit at all but that's okay because I know what it says right and I do like those big black stickers now um, for the date covers because it offsets the heavy on this side so if you hear any snoring going on my doggy is sound asleep on his bed right behind me so <laughs> he he's a very good sleeper okay so we need a deco box here and two boxes here so you can kind of see that um i don't why i need more deco boxes and this is why i say sometimes it's not the perfect thing that you're sticking in there it just doesn't want to go quite the way you envision it. But you know what? I actually like that. I like fixing things on the fly. Okay, so because this one had one, I'm going to put this one, I think, up here. And that way there's one on each page for balance. And if I can't find anything else to fill in the gaps here, then I have balance okay so now I do have this half box here with like sky stuff but it's a half box it would look funny so I think that's going to be a save for another page kind of box okay so I'm going to put you on hold while I finish prepping this and I'll be right back well ladies that's the finished product you can see i went the two boxes across along with the check box the meals are open so i can just write in what i eat most of the time it's just dinner but i do have a snack sometimes two snacks i really don't like that the decor is missing in here i'm going to go through my happy planner books and see if i can find tropical blues um decor even if they have to cut the boxes in half or two-thirds so they fit in there i just don't like that it's open if you like the video leave a comment say hi or put a smiley face 
um, hit that subscribe, hit the like, whatever you feel most comfortable with. I hope you had a good time, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!